My colleague Rahul Gautam is now joining me on the phone line. Uh, Rahul, this is big news coming. The opposition, especially in the state of Maharashtra, is saying that Khushiyari's exit was eminent, especially after the controversies surrounding the former governor. Absolutely, you know, and this is the fact that why opposition is uh, describing this as a big victory uh, for them. Uh, in fact, uh, Sanjay Raut, who we all know, Shiv Sena MP, also said that uh, given the fact that he made several uh, controversial remarks against uh, several uh, Marathi icons, therefore, uh, uh, you know, he had to go. And in fact, uh, Mr. Raut also said that he was not impressed uh, about the timing uh, of his exit. He, he's saying that he's been demanding uh, his removal from his office for past one year, and therefore, it it only shows that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, his resignation only comes as a routine uh, matter of the administration. You can expect that is certainly going to gather more heat because opposition would certainly try to uh, describe it as a big victory for them and also uh, will describe it as a you know, vindication of their stance. And uh, obviously, uh, as far as government is concerned, the government has made it very clear that uh, uh, if you remember earlier also, uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari had wished to step down from the governor's office. In fact, he said that he wanted to uh, dedicate his uh, rest of the life, uh, you know, to reading and to writing and therefore uh, he said that uh, he should be uh, relieved. So you can expect that this is certainly going to become another flashpoint between opposition and the ruling party in Maharashtra. Right, Rahul. So the opposition parties are now happy with the Maharashtra governor's resignation being accepted by President. Let's listen into all the reactions that are coming in with regards to this news. Very thankful to the Honorable President of India for accepting the resignation of Mr. Bhagat Singh Koshyari. Mr. Koshyari had been quoting controversy with uncalled for statements in Maharashtra and somewhere he kept hurting the sentiments of the people of Maharashtra. We are happy that he has finally resigned and there will be a new governor. Our expectation is that the new governor who comes into Maharashtra remembers that the constitutional position that is given to him is that of a neutral one. My colleague Rahul Gautam is joining me on the story. Rahul, it's not just the governor of Maharashtra. There is in fact a list of the governors uh, which have been changed. So do you think this also is a way to prepare? All the parties are now preparing for 2024. Do you see this in that light also? Well, this is a massive overhaul uh, uh, you know, across the country as far as Raj Bhavan is concerned. Uh, Twelve uh, governors have been replaced, one lieutenant governor has been appointed. So obviously, you rightly pointed out, and you, you know, this uh, all comes in the backdrop of uh, opposition uh, charges that how governor offices have been working at the behest of the ruling party and that they have been interfering uh, you know, into the state machinery. Uh, so obviously, we have to really wait and more than how various uh, regional parties are going to react. But one thing is very evident here that government has made, uh, a massive, uh, uh, you know, reshuffle as far as... <coughs> Rahul, Arvind Savant is joining yes, me yes. and MP is joining me on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Savant, this obviously is big news, especially for the opposition parties, given the kind of controversies that were surrounding the governor, B.S. Koshiari. It's uh, great news, no doubt about it, but it's better late ever. It is too late. It is too late, too late. A man who has uh, played with the dignity of Maharashtra's uh, Maharashtra, he played with uh, you know, the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, the way we, uh, oh, we respect, regard the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, Mahatma Pule, Sarasri Vahe Pule. He went on insulting. But during that time, BJP was silent. BJP was silent even when they, in the, the recent past they conducted a rally in Mumbai. But the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was insulted, he was silent. And during the last assembly election, they had a slogan, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj ke Ashirwad, Bhajapak ke Saad. And he, was, he went on continuously insulting Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Even then, the central government and BJP leaders were silent. Even after that, I mean, before that, he has, he has answered in a totally unconstitutional way. The present government and constitutional government. They asked the government and BJP party, we have seen the data with honorable 
governor of Maharashtra. Thank you, Mr. Savan, for joining me on this story.